Okay, so Hume is going to look at these claims to knowledge his fellow philosopher friends have, have offered, and he's going to evaluate these different claims to determine whether or not the proponents should be as confident in them as they are. They've made these claims that they've, they've gained knowledge about reality. And Hume is going to look and see, is that really the case? Should you really be all that confident that you have knowledge, not just beliefs, but knowledge about reality? So the first thing Hume's going to do is he's going to put a pretty skeptical eye on these a priori, or analytic statements. Now, you remember, these are the statements that are um, by logical necessity true. We don't evaluate these statements by uh, referring back to some experience that we've had or some observation that we've made. These are statements that are... Um, by logical necessity true. So statements like, it's either raining outside right now or it's not raining outside right now. I don't have to look outside to see whether or not it's raining to know that this statement has to be true. Similarly, if you give me a statement like, when people divorce, they dissolve their marriage. All right, yes, by definition, that's what divorce is. It's the dissolution of a marriage. So again, I don't have to go out and survey a whole bunch of people who have divorced and say, now, did you dissolve your marriage? Did you dissolve your marriage? I don't have to, I don't have to go out and experience people who've divorced to know that this statement has to be true. Similarly, two plus three equals five, therefore three plus two equals five. Yes, we know this is true. Okay. And we don't have to appeal to experience. Now, Hume looks at these and he says, all right, I get it. They're true. I'm with you. But so what? Okay. So Hume looks at these and he says, these statements don't tell us about anything. They don't, they don't have any value. They're, they're almost meaningless types of statements. They don't give us any knowledge about reality. Now, this is going to be a fairly devastating to crit critique to somebody like Leibniz, who, who relied on analytic statements to develop his understanding of the nature of reality and whether or not the world that we inhabit is the best of all possible worlds. So Leibniz relied heavily on this idea of analytic statements to get to this conclusion that God would have only created the best of all possible worlds. Therefore, the world that we inhabit may seem mysterious to us. It may seem like it has tragedies in it, but really it's the best world that could have possibly been. And, and uh, Hume is going to look at this and say, dude, no, you got to that conclusion using essentially empty, meaningless statements.